Hey, what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video and today I'm gonna feature share you 6 star gameplay and today's gameplay clips are courtesy of Alta, one of my worst fleet alliance member so all right without further ado let's take a look at his um, character uh, stats support percentage and medal used so he basically have 163% support which is pretty high yeah and uh, he's using attacker straw hat pirates a paramecia uh, captain and also new world all right so all at level 600 and uh, show you doesn't have knockback so worst generation tag is not that important but he has it at five a uh, level 500 so they're yeah, not bad not bad and the metal set that he used uh, is the Luffy trio set okay? Uh, he's using a bounce man, Luffy law or Luffy, and also 30 million Luffy. So, 30 million Luffy gives you skill to cooldown when you kill opponent, whereas the other two medals should give you damage increase if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, skill one 14 percent, skill two cool a uh, boost cooldown reduction speed uh, by 20 percent, and on top of that, you have 30 million. Uh, Luffy which gives you 8% skill to cooldown uh, if you kill an opponent and honestly that uh, that skill that this metal set is a uh, good for Shiryu because Shiryu already has skill 1 cooldown embedded in his trait so if he kills an opponent in his trait he actually gets skill 1 cooldown 30% so yeah, having a metal set focusing on skill 2 would be good for Shiryu most definitely and here are the you know attack traits and uh, defense traits uh, inside the medal. You guys can check it out later if you want to. And let's get into the gameplay, shall we? All right, so 193k going against a uh, pretty high total party power opponent. Okay, uh, we've got uh, yeah a few meta units. Um, pretty decent, pretty decent uh, opponent. So no defender on. Uh, alter steam so he has to uh, be the one uh, on the defensive because well I'll show you is a defensive attacker he's not the one who pushes uh, forward all right uh, to the opponent's uh, flags uh, he he mostly do good against runners or anyone who is trying to capture a flag because that is when he deals a massive damage towards the opponent okay uh, when attacking opponent that is capturing treasure attack is actually boosted by 70 percent for three seconds so that is how crazy the boost is and so far so good all right um i sure you is trying to boom right when zephyr tried to capture the flag alter uh you know quickly moved towards him using his skill and that damage is pretty high for a uh, you know pretty tanky defender i'm not sure if zephyr has his skill one up and running or not all right okay time it nicely and bam hey that marco cannot do shit, bro <laughs> all right so akainu uh, the good thing about shiryu is his range both of his skills has good range uh, skill 1 especially can turn, uh, sorry, yeah, dash forward as you can see how it travels towards that Akainu, you know, killing him easy. Uh, whereas skill 2 can actually teleport, which means, uh, if I'm not mistaken, skill 2 should be able to uh, travel uh, across gaps, yeah. And, um, yeah, and uh, skill 2 has multiple hit as well, which uh, is pretty good to go against Akainu. Uh, even though sure you against Akainu is not actually the best uh you know the best option uh like definitely not made to counter Akainu especially when they have similar element and look at that damage bro crazy damage that Marco was like oh man <laughs> cannot run away from sure you definitely a runner hunter so yeah one good tips is if you are using sure you Maybe you want to try and bait the opponent into capturing flag first. Yeah, again, because that is when sure you can deal massive damage and, you know, one shot, uh, you know, most of the time one shot the uh, runner, the opponent. And, yeah, and, and uh, skill 2 also stuns, which uh, makes it easier for you to finish off the job. 
if let's say the runner is pretty tanky uh, especially this Marco he, it seems like he is pretty tanky honestly speaking but still you know can't run away from sure you steam boost 38k damage man I pity that Marco so GG's 6.9k score okay not too bad actually but uh, he's not the MVP all right uh, uh, just you know something uh, that is worth noting if you mostly kill opponent using your skill right and you don't use much of your normal attack somehow you don't get much score yeah I think somehow the game uh, like score calculation values involvement in fight uh, and, and you know the use usage of normal attack more than just use the skill and kill opponent of course there are other factors that comes into the scoring as well HP recovery uh, and then uh, the the ability of you inflicting opponent with status effects so yeah, those are the things that uh, influence the score you know I'm just saying you know, just for you know just an extra information Okay, a bit unlucky there, Kamu Said by Roger. However, Roger was tremored. And uh, show you, Alter is saving his skill. Perhaps he knows that the white beard, you know, his white beard ally is going to use his skill as well. So, you know, we don't want to waste, <laughs> we don't want to waste skill. But unluckily, he was that. Okay, uh, Roger is definitely an annoying character to fight against if you use Shiryu. And not to mention, Roger cannot be stunned. So, yeah. In other words, if you use skill 2 towards Roger, you are only helping Roger. Boom! Look at how I show you one shot that uh, Yamato and also later killing Yamato. I think that Yamato, maybe because not many people use Shiryu, right? Don't know or don't understand Shiryu straight. And she thought she can stay alive by continuing the, the flag capture. But of course she's wrong because sure you nullify that trait and she was killed easy. And again Sakai no, your skill two kinda helps as well. Alright, because skill two has multiple uh, multiple hits, so that removes Sakainu's auto dodge and proceeds to hurt him after that. So so far so good. They've got team boost and are able to capture um one flag that Odan with his uh, Nick attack. So okay, Zephyr is down there, no problem. And BAM! Again, Yamato stand no chance. But I think he was disturbed by Oh unlucky, unlucky that Sabo was disturbing the fight. Uh you know, Shoryu was down and Yamato used her counter. Unluckily the timing sucks. Uh, you know the timing favors Yamato and even though that counter wasn't triggered but uh, you know it aims towards Shiryu and still kill him so alright let's go guys push forward push forward <laughs> okay Sabo should, should have been easy kill okay uh, okay that red kid kills him nicely done and uh, if it's me I will just use my skill to towards Roger yeah just because uh, I, I'd rather disturb him to allow my teammates to capture the mid flag but you know luckily even though that Roger used Kamusari, his allies are able to capture flag. So, yeah, okay. Uh, and, okay, good job saving the skills. Yamato, one shot to Yamato, easy. Again, I've explained so many times about his trade. You should know why uh, Alter is. Uh, uh, Alter can easily kill that Yamato earlier. So, alright, not like the best match, but, um, you know. Uh, it's against the metas and uh, Shiryu, uh, Alta is playing defensive as well which is actually what is required of Shiryu so I'd say it's not bad okay next match 208k total party power opponent have boost for Roger and boost for uh, Marine Fort Marco yeah the red Marco so yeah hence the high total party power so yeah I think it's gonna be annoying to go against boost for Roger bro it's crazy that's crazy <laughs> okay i think um Al alter is waiting for his opportunity he wants to teleport boom look at that see i told you you can travel across the gap and just one shot that shiki okay but marco honestly not a problem even though this marco is boost for but i don't think it is that much of a threat the only problem is that um alter is being gangbang here by kaido and also that Marco, alright, so 
Yeah, gotta kill at least one of them quick. Nicely done. And that Kaido is dead. Alright. Oh, nice, nice perfect dodge there. I mean, I don't even see that really is trying to attack uh, Alter. So, nicely done. And of course, what is important is the flag. Uh, and thankfully, that Shanks, uh, his teleport is not successful. Yeah, his skill one teleports. Uh, teleportation doesn't somehow doesn't work, which is pretty weird. Maybe because uh, Alter captured the flag at the right time, and you know when that guy uh, uses his skill one, uh, Alter already have shield surrounding him, making that teleportation unsuccessful. Okay, so team boost. All right, again Alter is playing defensive here, so just waiting because you know why, why bother going into fights right, when you don't need when you don't need to and oh my god sure you was killed by his captain bro <laughs> blackbeard was like i've had enough of you sure you boom hey that is so cool man that is so cool <laughs> imagine the captain <laughs> killing one of his commanders all right so um uh, respawn as sure you again Okay, teleport. Ooh, nice, perfect dodge by that Marco. Yo, good job, man. Okay, waiting for that dodge. Nicely done. And still alive because this is a boost for Marco, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, they are able to capture that flag, man. Seriously. Ooh, nice hockey, bro. Observation hockey you got there, man. Because <laughs> that skill came from behind. And uh, dodge a bit too early. I don't know. Are they winning this match? I'm not sure. So, um... Okay, Marco here. And... BAM! My god, still alive. This Marco is insane, bro. So tanky, man. Boost for Marco. Alright. Oh, come on. Almost, almost. Oh, clutch. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, GG's. Alright. Hey, not bad, man. This, I mean, clutch, bro seriously good match all right so thank you so much guys for watching and thank you alter for providing me with the gameplay clips i hope you guys enjoy today's gameplay uh don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't do so i'll see you guys in the next episode take care ciao